Hello, I'm Fran. And I'm Liz. And we're part of the Enrich team based in Cambridge in the UK. We'd like to introduce you to another member of the Enrich team who is perhaps not so well known. Meet Monkey. Monkey likes to play a game where he hides a rectangle on this grid you can see. To begin with, he tells us how many plugs, they're the things that look like circles on your screen, make up his rectangle. So he's saying, I have made a rectangle on my grid. It uses six plugs. See if you can guess where it is. Okay, so let's have a go. Um, why don't we start, Fran, by choosing the middle plug? I'm going to click on the middle plug. Oh, mm. okay. Oh, yes. So that's interesting. Um, I wonder if our next guess should be one that's close to that, Liz. That's a really good idea. Uh, let's try, I'm going to try this one here. Ah, mm. so now we've got the, the spot, the plug in the middle, which is a tick, which means it is part of our rectangle. But we've got another one up here, which is a cross, the blue one, which means it's not part of our rectangle. Okay, so I wonder where we should get next, Fran. Um, how about I might try this one right at the bottom in the middle? Oh, that's also a no. Hmm. Fran, what do you think? Where might we try next? How um, about the one above that, Liz, then, between the tick and the cross in that vertical line? That's a good idea. Let's try this one. Aha! Uh -huh. So we've now got two spots which we know are part of our rectangle. Okay. So, Liz, I wonder, while we have a chat about where we might guess next, those of you watching, why don't you pause the video and take a moment to outline with your finger on the screen one place where you think the six plug rectangle might be? So hopefully you've had a chance to have a think about where the six plug rectangle might be. Now, I wonder, were you imagining that the rectangle would be too high? and three long? Or perhaps were you wondering that the rectangle would be three high and two long? Let's think. Um, Liz, I wondered um, about yeah. a one by six rectangle. Ooh, hang on a minute, Fran, no. We can't have a one by six or a six by one, because look, the, the grid is only five by five in each direction. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. So the options you picked of the three by two or the two by three, as long as those two ticks are inside the six plugs that we're picking. I see. Exactly. exactly. Okay. What do you think? Shall we carry on? Let's. Okay. Uh, so why don't we choose this spot here on the right hand side ah that's another no um fran what do you think next what could you, you go think? up diagonally left from that last one liz that's uh, one. okay let's try this one here oh also a no interesting oh, okay um maybe um, what do you think um, immediately below that one yes should we try that oh still a no Okay. okay. Could you go the other side of the tick? Yes, why not? Let's try here. Ah, another tick. So we've got three out of the six so far. Um, what do you think? Should we carry on and go along the top? Yes. Oh, this is looking exciting, Fran. I think we're nearly there. So I think underneath that one. Mm -hmm. Yes, one more to get. <gasps> it's got to be here, surely. <laughs> oh, look. Now, I can see down here, it says, when you know where the rectangle is, click the ready button. Okay, are we ready, Fran? Yes. Oh, what does monkey say now? Oh, you think you know where my rectangle is? Are you sure? Oh, that's interesting. Monkey's I'm sure. Answer. You're sure? I'm yeah. sure as well. So if you're certain, we click yes. Right, let's click certain. 
Okay, then show me. Right, so I think now we're going to have to fill in the rectangle on this right-hand grid. Let me just check I've got that in the right place. I think so. Okay, ready. Monkey says, indeed. Oh, but look, Fran, Monkey's asking us a question. Maybe you could have worked it out earlier, though. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, why don't we have another go, Fran, and um, see whether we could do as Monkey suggests and think a bit more carefully about how soon we could work out where the rectangle is. Okay, all right, let's click play again then. Okay, let's have another go at this polyplug rectangles challenge. This time though, let's see if we can find out where the rectangle is without having all six ticks. So Fran, are you ready? I am. Um, we, we started with one in the middle last time, Liz. Could we do that again? Yes, why not? Good idea. Oh, okay. Okay, mm. not in the middle. Um, well, what do you think? Shall we go one up from there? That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Oh, still not. Um, okay, how about the one underneath the middle, Liz? I'll try that one. Oh, okay. So three crosses. Okay, three crosses. where next then? Um, why don't we go over to one side? Okay, I might try to the middle and to the left. Oh, okay. Still no, maybe to the middle and to the right? Good plan. Oh, oh fabulous. Okay, really? so that's oh, a yes. Think now. Well, do you think somewhere close to that, maybe above it? Good idea. Okay, where next? Ah. Um, why don't we keep going up? I might try, yes, why not one up? Oh, okay. Um, so I might guess underneath the ticks next, do you think? Oh, hang on a second though, Fran. Do you know, I'm not sure we need to do any more guessing. I'm pretty sure we could work out where the rectangle is now. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I'm there yet. Could you tell me a bit about what you think? Can you explain to me how you know where you think the rectangle is? Okay. Um, why don't you watching, why don't you pause the video now just for a short time and think about whether you agree with Fran or do you agree with me? Do you, do you think that we could know where the rectangle is? And then come back again. Okay, so Fran, you weren't convinced, I don't think. Shall I, shall I Shall I talk you through a little bit of- Please do. All right. To do that, I'm going to get the pen tool up so that I can draw on the screen, which might make it a bit easier. Okay. So we've got the two ticks. Now, if there was a rectangle that included those two ticks that was two high and three long, it could, for example, go here. But Fran, can you see why that's not possible? Okay, I think I can because of the, the crosses that are in the way. Okay. Um, how about then, um, maybe though instead we could have a two high and a three along, still including those two ticks. It could instead go, go here, Fran? Ah, uh, yes, but I can see we've still got crosses inside the whole rectangle. So you're right, that doesn't work either. Okay. Well, what about now if we look instead to a, a three high and a two long, I could, for example, try this rectangle here, but I'm not sure that's going to be right, Frank. Can you see why? Ah, oh, yes, you were saying it had to include both ticks and where you've drawn the rectangle doesn't do that. So I don't think it can go where that outline is. Ex exactly. Um, and uh, well, in the same way then, we could go on arguing like that, but I think they, therefore, that this is the only possible place that this six plug rectangle could be. I wonder uh -huh. whether those of you watching could just have a little think about whether you agree and why or why not. 
Mm. Nice. Okay, I think I'm happy that because we know it's got six plugs and it has to be a three by two or a two by three, that this is the only space left available to us. And so I now see why you're saying we don't need to guess again because we already have all the information we need. So, so I think we're ready to challenge monkey. Okay, let's do it. Um, oh, I just have to get rid of my um, pen tool. There we go. Click on ready. All right, so ask, monkey is asking us to show him where it is. I shall just try and highlight, here we go. I'm pretty sure that's the right rectangle. We're ready. Oh, oh fabulous, yes. Yes. brilliant, absolutely right. Now we've realized we don't have to have the full number of ticks. Perhaps you'd like to have a go at playing against Monkey. Monkey doesn't always choose a rectangle with six spots, but he will tell you the number of spots his rectangle has. I wonder whether there are some sizes of rectangle that are easier to guess than others. Hmm. This task is called Polyplug Rectangles and the website address on Enrich is coming up next. Good luck in becoming an efficient guesser.